Hello, welcome to Salancha. Oh, fuck. Bored again out in the shed. So, I'm going to make another video. Uh, today's video is going to be about Makuni Carb. I've got a Makuni Carb on the red bike and the black bike, the carburetor's been messing around on me. So, instead of buying parts or buying a new CV Carb, I thought. I'd change it out to the McCoonie carb. And as, as you're well aware, if you watch watched any of my other videos, like I'm a novice, I'm not a mechanic by any means or anything. So how I got the right carburetor was I emailed McCoonie, I emailed um, the year model and the number of the bike. And they pretty much told me what carburetor I needed to buy. And here it is. So we'll open it up. We'll have a look to see what it comes like. Um, or we'll see what all comes with it, what instructions and stuff, and we can go from there. So this here is the box that McCoonie Carb comes in. Um, for the 97 Heritage that I have, this is what McCoonie um, advised me to put on. It does come with this here seal on it. I had to cut it because um, as, if he's watched me other video, you'll know I broke this part on the that bike there on the carburetor on it so i had to order that from from mccrooney so when i ordered that i ordered um this carburetor too for the black bike because it's the carburetor and it's currently giving me issues so inside you get this pen here these instructions were inside it too i'll i'll stop and i'll cut into uh, what the in instructions say This here is uh, pretty much what you get. You get this here little clip for the front of it. Some seals, some jets. And then the mechanic grab itself. As you can see, it did not come with a chip cable. Um, I've read them instructions too. I'll show you a few um, photographs of what they say about the uh, car or about the um, choke. So we can make the uh, Harley CV one work with it. So we'll give that a crack. If it doesn't work, we'll just go back online and we will order the uh, Makuni one. So let's get stuck in it. We'll take a look at the bike now. So I don't know what I was thinking there. I didn't actually uh, video the carburetor still on the bike and have a little conversation about it and what I was going to do. So I'll try and give you an overview of what I've done. Um, it's pretty straightforward most of you will be able to, able to do it without explanation but let's have a look so um this here bracket here normally your uh, air breather is bolted this this is spun around to here and there's a bolt in here um your heads like to mist oil they must through to there this pipe here is normally piped back into your air breather and then it goes back through your carburetor and burned off an engine I've opted to pipe it to the ground for the meanwhile until um, I uh, get the bike up and going. Um, the carburetor itself is there. You just want to be careful, make sure you uh, disconnect the choke on the far side. And then when you're taking it off, disconnect the throttle cables. And then it should pull right out when everything's out of your way. So not overly hard, I'm sure you should be able to get it. Um, but we'll move on to the next bit. I'm going to try and get the choke off this one and get the choke from it onto the McCoonie car. Hopefully it all works out for us and I don't have to go online shopping and buy um, another choke. So as you can see here, I have removed the choke from the old Harley CV car. car. Um, that just screws straight out of the hole on the other car, right? Um, when you read the instructions here, this here comes out of the McCoonie carb. So we've got the top of it, we've got the spring, and we've got the plunger. So what we have to do is change um, these parts on this one. Should be pretty much straightforward. You'll see, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but you can see the slit where once you move that, you can take it, you'll be able to take it out. I'm going to need both hands to do this. So yet again, I'm not going to video it. Um, 
But I'm, I think he's got the gist. If he's any questions on it, you can feel free to shoot me a message. And um, I'll try and help anybody out that's looking to do this. So I've got it changed over. Uh, I need to make a correction here. This is the nut off the McCooney one. Um, that hole is too small for the the Harley part in here. So when I read the instructions properly, it actually says to keep the Harley one for this. So that's the only difference I've made. So now to screw it onto the McCooney carb and um, take the McCooney carb and push it on into place and see how we go. So it's a few hours later. I had a neighbor call over there, which um, prolonged what I was doing here. But I'll show you where I'm up to now with the carburetor. The carburetor is now fitted. I've started the bike. The bike's now run perfectly sweet with the new carburetor. It, it comes pre-tuned and all, so you don't have to mess around with it. You just pretty much whack it on and it does its own thing. But I have had another problem. Um, McCooney carb doesn't seem that the uh, you can just bolt the air breather and stuff back on. It's a different setup, so I'm gonna have to buy a different bracket, but I'll show you what I'm talking about and I'll show you what I mean. So, this part here is where the air breather bolts onto, but that pops on and off. So, um, because there's a gap here, when I go to put the old air breather on, it doesn't bolt up against this, or if you do bolt it up, it kicks the bottom of the air breather out. So I even had to turn this around because this bar here is impeding the carburetor. So I'm gonna have to look at probably putting catchers on like the other bike and a new bracket so I can mount an air breather. But the goal of tonight was to get the bike going again, get the carburetor on. So the carburetor's on. So as you can probably tell, it's the next day. Um, the phone died last night on me, so I couldn't finish off the video. So here you go. I'll just try and pick up where I left off from. Um, we were chatting about this carburetor. So as I said, the bike's up and running. Um, I'm having problems here with this. I can't get the air breather and stuff to work with it. So I need to buy another bracket. So I went on this morning to really speed shop. And I ordered uh, one of these brackets here that goes down the front of the carburetor. So you bolt the air breather through and then into the carburetor. And then it's all bolted to the bike so it won't blow off in the wind. So hopefully a couple of days that'll be here. I don't know if I'll video putting that on. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Just take these bolts out, put it in, try and line these up with the, the holes on it and bolt it up. So I'll see how I feel. I might do it. I don't know. We'll see. So I'd just like to end the video by saying thanks to anybody that's uh, watched all my videos, um, subscribed or liked any of the videos. As I said before, I'm just some guy dicking around in a shed, just doing this for a bit of fun. No other reason than I'm bored. Um, I'm going to try and hopefully start making the videos actually a, bit, a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more fun. But um, time will tell. So... Thanks. See ya. Bye.